This study compared cardiovascular risk factors amongst vegans, flexitarians, and omnivores. German researchers enrolled 94 healthy participants ages 25 to 45 and categorized them into the various diet groups. Vegans consumed no animal products. Flexitarians consumed up to 50 grams of meat per day, which equates to about three and a half servings per week maximum. And omnivores consumed at least 170 grams of meat per day. And these participants had been consuming their respective diets for at least a year. The vegans had the highest diet quality scores followed by flexitarians and then omnivores, and the vegans consumed the most nuts, legumes, and plant-based meat and dairy alternatives. Flexitarians also consumed more plant-based milk and nuts than the omnivores, and both flexitarians and vegans consumed substantially more vegetables than the omnivores. There were no significant differences in soft drink consumption between the groups, but the vegans did consume less sweets and alcohol than the omnivores who averaged three to four drinks per week. There were no significant differences in body weight, BMI, or body fat percentage between flexitarians and vegans, but the flexitarians did have significantly lower BMI and body fat percentage than the omnivores, while vegans also had a lower body fat percentage. Percentage. However, the flexitarians and vegans were more physically active than the omnivores on average. All three groups had similar levels of inflammatory markers as well as fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c, but the vegans did have significantly lower fasting insulin than the omnivores. And the flexitarians had better metabolic syndrome scores as well as pulse wave velocity, which is a marker of artery function, compared to the omnivores but were similar to the vegans. And unsurprisingly, the vegans had the lowest total and LDL cholesterol levels, followed by flexitarians and then omnivores with the highest levels. Omnivores also had the highest triglyceride levels, but when they adjusted for age, sex, BMI, and physical activity, that difference was no longer statistically significant. As for individual foods, fruits, vegetables, legumes, and plant-based dairy alternatives were associated with improvements in some risk factors, while sweets, soft drinks, dairy, meat, and processed meat were associated with worsening of some risk factors. Now, this isn't a randomized controlled trial or a prospective cohort for that matter, but it does go to show that vegans and flexitarians in the general population who are consuming things like plant-based meat or plant-based dairy products can do just fine and in fact tend to do better than their omnivorous counterparts. And the authors conclude that while vegans had the most favorable results overall, this study supports that reducing meat and processed meat product intake as in flexitarianism may contribute to cardiovascular disease risk factor advantages. And this is supported by randomized controlled trial data.